Hi, this is Ram at Lancelot Video. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use OBS Swing Scene Switcher for your live streams. Let's get to it. I hope you all enjoyed that little blooper. If you can't laugh yourself, what's the point, right? All right, so let's go right to the OBS website, type in the browser OBS Advanced Scene Switcher. And now we select it. This will bring us to the OBS blue screen for Scene Switcher. Go ahead, scroll down. I have three choices for the plugin, Windows, Mac, or Linux. As for me, I will be selecting Windows OS. We'll just scroll back to the top. Click on the Go to Download tab. Bottom left hand corner, you'll see it starts downloading. We'll just go ahead and let that finish. Now I'll search my download folder and look for Scene Switcher. It's going to be in a zip folder. Let's select it and double click. You'll want to go ahead and extract it. You will also see a README folder in Notepad. Here, just take your time and read the instructions. They're pretty straightforward. Now you'll have two choices here. Either one, in my opinion, is safe, but it's your choice. You can manually install the program, or you can just bypass altogether by selecting the automatic installer. I will be going ahead and installing it automatically. We do have to extract it, so let's go ahead and do that. There you go. Let's go ahead and let that finish up. Most of you will have to click on more info. When you see the pop-up, the screen says because it's blocked by Windows, you just go ahead and select run anyway. And select your OBS directory. In my case, it's program files. Scroll down to OBS Studio, click Next, Next one more time, and then go ahead and install. Click Finished, and we are done. If you want to do it manually, I'll show you that real quick. Just click on Data and OBS Plugins. We copy both of those folders, go into Program Files for OBS, and we'll just go ahead and paste it into that folder and just replace the ones we have already. Like I said, this is only for manual installations. We'll go ahead and paste it. Do this for all current items and hit continue. Okay, let's move over to OBS Studio. Let's go ahead and click on Tools. Look for Advanced Scene Switcher. And we want to make sure that Hide Tabs, which can be represented via macros, is unclicked so we can see all the tabs above. As you can see here, there are many ways to control scene switching, but for this tutorial, I'll be focusing on sequence. And then later on, we'll do application control. All right, here we have some commands to set up. Now I've already created some scenes in OBS. As you can see, I have when countdown scene switches to switch to. Now that's after five seconds. And we'll put a fade on this as well as other options, but I will use fade. Now the next step is a very important step. We have to go to General. In order for all this to work properly, this Start button needs to be clicked. However, I will not click it yet because I want to add a timer to one of my scenes. Let me just move this window out of the way and pull up the timer. Now don't blink because this is all going to happen in less than five seconds. So here goes. I'm going to hit Start on my timer. And I'll hit Start in OBS and watch the timer go down. Here you can see my text for countdown, the trigger set off countdown scene, and went to switch to, and there you have it. Now I know that went awfully quick, but don't worry, you can replay this video or I can just simply show you again. The reason I can is because the sequence scene switcher is still active. So you'll notice immediately our countdown scene switched over to switch to after five seconds, even though I didn't show you the timer. Okay, so let's go into Scene Switcher again. This time we're gonna do Executable. First, let's go ahead and stop the plugin and go into Executable tab. We'll go ahead and hit the plus sign and look for the program we're gonna be looking for is GIMP, which is an alternative to Photoshop. Then we go ahead and select the GIMP switch, which I created in OBS. Wanna make sure that only if focus is selected because we're not using macros. Hit the plus sign again. This time I'm gonna be looking for Chrome. 
and I'll go ahead and do my Chrome switch into Canva, which is on the browser using Fade. Then I'll go ahead and start the application or start the plugin again. Okay, so here we go again. Don't blink because it's gonna happen very quickly. I went ahead and clicked Chrome and the switch occurred and that directed us to the Canva website, which is in the browser. Okay, these next clicks are gonna be rather quick because these triggers occur instantaneously. What's amazing here is that I can click on the application not only on my taskbar, but on the actual screen of the program. It directs us right to the scene. This is actually a big advantage because you never have to worry about where to go when you're doing tutorials because it does it automatically. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial on OBS scene switching and please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.